Welcome to Nuttians and welcome back to Hyperspeed, the show where I try to speed run baby game while drinking energy drinks. I usually say Red Bull there, but in this case it's not Red Bull. Uh, just a little caveat, I'm probably going to fail at speedrunning rage games. Uh, that's typically how this goes. Uh, I end up taking forever. Like the last game I played took me fucking two years, even though it was just Super Meat Boy. Uh, so imagine how long this is gonna, this shit's gonna take me. The fucking, fucking Dark Souls. I'm playing Dark Souls. Dark Souls 3, one of the hardest games ever. Uh, I'm your host with the most roast toast, uh, uh, coast to coast boasting about goats, go ghosts. I, I don't fucking know. All right, let's let's go. I'm gonna make a new game because I already have I already have two save files on here, but neither of them are ones I want to use for this. I'm gonna be starting fresh. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. No idea what any of this means. Hello. That's a lie. I actually totally know what this means. So basically, the gist of this is uh, a cycle set off by the first game uh, keeps going on where uh, the fire that Gwyn started will start to die out. Uh, you know, Age of Fire starts to end. And uh, a powerful person will sacrifice himself to rekindle the fire. That's a cycle that constantly goes on throughout all of the games um, and in this game they're talking about how it's starting to go out and the Lords of Cinder who have been brought back uh, so, so basically the, the just with the oh those guys are awesome Farron's Undead Legion uh, I'm gonna give this a second and the reclusive Lord of the profaned capital All right, so basically the gist of it is uh, this guy who is next in line to be the person to sacrifice their life for shit, um, he refused to do it. His name was uh, Prince Lothric. Uh, he refused to do it. He was like, yeah, being immolated alive kind of fucking hurts, and it's perpetuating an undead curse. I don't want to do this shit. So they were like, all right, well, let's uh, let's bring the Lords of Cinder, uh, who are basically uh, a group of people in the past who have... Uh, all linked to the fire in the past so they're all really tough they're some of the strongest people there are uh and they're all like yeah fuck that we know from experience that this shit hurts so let's not uh and then so so everyone kind of just cumulatively disagrees uh, that it's a fucking terrible idea uh so they bring up their third stringer they're like all right we need somebody it's it's a hail mary pass so what they do 
is they fucking pick this guy, who is your character, who basically is a dude that failed to link to fire. He fucking died. And he's like, he sucks. He's too weak to link to link the fire. And so he fucked up. And so they bring him back from the dead and they're like, all right, now we need you to go kill all the dudes who refused to do it, who were really tough dudes. Uh, because clearly that's gonna happen when you're fucking weak. Um, take their power and then do it yourself. So that's that's the premise of the starting of this game. That's what that cutscene was trying to explain in its usual Dark Souls-y vague fashion. Uh, now, just a little caveat. I have played Dark Souls before. Um, however, this is the only game I've actually beaten. One and two were a bit too hard for me. I couldn't really deal without, like, fast travel and shit. Uh, this game kind of dumbs it down a bit. It's, it's combat difficulty still insanely hard, as per usual. But it's, um... But it, they've dumbed down the mechanics a bit, so it's playable to me, at least, as somebody who is not a pro gamer. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go make a character and uh, speed this part up. So here we go, let's start up. So if you don't know the rules of uh, hyperspeed, the rule is every time I die, I have to take a sip of some energy drink. So let's crack this bad boy open and get started. That's one sip, just for a good start. And look, it's me crawling out of the depths of wherever I was buried because I'm dead. So there we go. All right, so that's a good start. I'm uh, so I don't know. I don't know if you've seen, if you saw that yet, from what I did, but uh, I kind of uh made myself Sephiroth. So that's who I am. Here we go. Let's let's start the thing. I gotta get some better armor for Sephiroth, uh, but we'll get there. Trust me, and it won't take long. I also need to get accustomed to fighting without a shield, because Sephiroth doesn't exactly have a shield. So, I have already played this game. In fact, I've, uh, I've played through at least half of this game three times. Because um, I, I did a full playthrough my first time with the help of Nathan. Then I did a, uh, I, I, I did a new game plus, and I didn't finish it yet, but I'm, pretty, I'm a decent way into the game. I am already killed... Everyone except for, uh, I think the last person I killed actually was Dancer, so I, I didn't do anything after that. Oh, crap. Um, and then I had another playthrough where I did it from scratch again. And, uh, I'm not too far on that one yet, but that's because leveling takes a while when you start from scratch. So, uh, hey, buckle in and prepare to watch this for a very long time. So that being said, um, on my second attempt, I did beat this first boss on the first try. 
on my second uh, playthrough. Not the not the one where I did a new game plus. Well, that one I, I did beat it on the first try as well because it was easy. But I beat it as deprived on my the 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 second game I started from scratch. Um, so I do have at least a good feel for this part of the game. I'm an idiot and I missed that thing because I forgot how to jump for a second. I'll go back for it. But first, let me kill this asshole. So yeah, I do have I do have a pretty decent feel for this game. Um, hopefully I'll do pretty well. I'm trying to get through this. I'm gonna try and get through the first boss without any death. But uh, this is Dark Souls after all. Uh, so you know, that's it's all part of the game. Death is inevitable eventually. So, uh, yeah, welcome to my, uh, no-death run of Dark Souls. <laughs> this is gonna last for about half an episode before I eventually, before I inevitably get myself killed in this stupid way. See, this game, it, it's weird because it requires, oops, I missed, like, an idiot again. Alright, don't mind me, I'm just gonna do this, like, three stupid times. Um, it's a weird game because it requires both patience and quick reflexes, kind of opposites, you know? You need to act quick, but you also need to be slow and take your time. So that's, uh, that's where I'm at now. I am going to refill my health before I go take on this boss. Because I want to be at full health when I take him on, because I can probably do it on the first try if I am. And that's my hope, anyway. Okay. There we go. Couple down there. Crap! I'm an idiot. Didn't know that guy was around the corner. Alright, and back we go. Yeah, I'm actually not going to speed this part up because uh, this is Dark Souls for you. This is how you play Dark Souls. But uh, this keeps happening this way where I keep uh, moving and going. Fuck you, man. You and your fucking second attack that I wasn't expecting. This keeps happening like this. Uh, at least I'm going to have plenty of souls when I get to the first bonfire, right? And luckily, my shield does block all that damage, so if I just block him, rather than trying to be an idiot and, uh, frickin' dodge, I just block him, then I should be, uh, all set. I was just trying to, like I said, get used to not using a, um, a shield, but perhaps I should not have done that. He's down. I'm gonna kill this guy before he does something stupid. Motherfucker! Okay, well... Screw me, right? Am I right? So, uh, if this is your first time watching Hyperspeed, uh, I hope my, uh, terrible intro didn't scare you off. Uh, and if you don't know how this works, um, these generally tend to be really long episodes, and the reason why is because I'm trying to frickin' do things fast and failing, because I always, I always fail at doing things fast. I take forever. Um, I'm a bit OCD, so there's that. And, uh... Motherfucker, no! Okay, good. I thought he was gonna hit me there for a second. Die, you stupid bitch. Alright, so let's go. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna need to focus on this one. I'm gonna beat him on the first try. You ready? Is everyone ready? Okay, good. Prepare to be disappointed, because I can't beat him on the first try. He's really hard. But I know how to beat him, so that, at the very least, I have that. And you get an advantage on the first try in the fact that he doesn't attack right off the start. 
I'm gonna play this cautiously. I know how to cheese this guy, actually. Because if you move far away from him, he will eventually jump. Which has a lot of end lag, and you can get a few hits in there. That's a good way to beat him. Shit. He's already getting kind of low. Oh, crap! As am I, apparently. Hey, buddy. You want to attack? You want to do your jump? You want to do your little jump? You're doing your jump! Up, 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 whale him! Okay, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. That's an instant kill. In case you don't know. In case you don't know Dark Souls, there are a lot of instant kills in this game. Motherfucker, alright, alright. I'm not gonna waste my essence on that, but perhaps I should. I'm gonna step back a little bit. I'm uh, gonna give him a give him a second. I can finish him, I can finish him, I can finish him. Hey yo! First try! Champion uh oh sorry, not champion gun deer, uh EU Dex gun deer, I guess. Alright, look at that. Alright, so uh yeah, welcome to the no no death run of Dark Souls. Uh that's what I'm doing today. We're off to a good start. I'm not gonna get energized and hyper um, for quite a bit. So if you don't know me, which you probably don't, considering nobody watches this series <laughs> as of the time I'm recording this, hopefully those numbers go up from zero to at least one, uh, which they have as if you're watching this. Um, if you don't know me, I actually have a lot of patience, which makes this series uh, basically have a a very common theme of uh, starting off slow and then inevitably getting really hyper because while I do have a lot of patience, that patience is quickly worn thin once I have caffeine in my system. And the whole purpose of this, this show is to give me caffeine in my system so that I flip the fuck out, basically. That's, that's the idea. That's the whole gist of this. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Hello. Goodbye. You stupid bitches. Oh, I saw that. You're trying to hit me. Hit me at a range, aren't you? You little cheeser. You little freaking, freaking cheese, cheese mouse, che cheeser. Here's something I love about Dark Souls. That's it. That's all. That, that's what I love about Dark Souls. Right there. That's awesome, isn't it? Let's head in to Firelink Shrine. Welcome to Firelink Shrine, guys. This is your hub world. This is where you're going to level. This is where you're going to buy your shit. Welcome this to is bonfire. where you're going to go to feel safe in a game that is almost never safe. I'm I'll shut up now. Keeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. All right, here we go. Then Time for our first leveling session. Let's see. Souls. So I have I have some notes made over here because I planned this out ahead of time. No way I could do this more quickly and not waste screen time. Uh, I have some I have some notes telling me what I need for certain uh, areas in order to do my build that I want. So we're just gonna get right started right away, going straight for that those stats. First, we got some strength. Gonna need a ton of dexterity as well, some decent intelligence, and a little bit of faith. So that's where we're that's where we're headed. If you don't know what I'm doing with this build yet, congratulations. Uh, you shouldn't because I haven't announced it yet. So you'll see eventually. Maybe you can gradually figure it out from the stats that I just listed. Tell me in the comments what you think I'm doing with this build. Just try and guess, because uh, because it's interesting. And you should you should be curious. I have to pee actually quite a bit. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. We're yes. not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. Keck. Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. 
But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. Don't you think? <laughs> All right. What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. We're talking truly. All right, he already said this. Moving on. All right, who else do we have here? We need to go talk to the Shrine Handmaiden. Uh, she is basically, I I'm going to skip through all this. Basically, the gist of it is she's your glorified uh, merchant. She sells your standard shit. So I'm gonna sell some things I don't need. I'm not gonna use fire bombs, so I'll get rid of those. Uh, don't need this broken straight sword; it's worthless. Uh, okay. Ashen one. That's good for now. Over here, you've got. Uh, welcome, welcome to the well, tour of Firelink Shrine, by the way. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith, forging weapon. You're in search of the Lords of Sindhu, I trust. Toilsome journey, I wager. You require good arm. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. So yeah, the gist of him is uh, he smiths your weapons. He'll infuse things with gems if you want to, like, say, make this sword deal fire damage, which is cool, but not very effective. Um, he'll also allot your Estus. I don't really need much magic, so I'm going to put it all into my freaking health. Uh, reinforce Estus Flasks, but only if you have an Estus Shard in your inventory. Reinforce Weapon, but I don't have the required items, any more Titanite Shards to do that. Careful. And I don't want to reinforce this anyway, because it's not what I plan on using. Alright, I'm going to use the bathroom, and if this is the end of the episode, that's because the recording stopped while I was in the bathroom. So, BRB. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No time actually elapsed. Actually, this is a completely separate video. Uh, I decided there wasn't really enough in this episode yet because I didn't fucking do anything uh, I beat the first boss and it's the tutorial boss and it's freaking easy and I didn't even die once so no, that's kind of pathetic right so let's so let's not Ashen let's not just stop there um I'm going to drop on no drop this coiled sword fragment right up in to here there we go some idiot put the frickin' text right next to the bonfire so you can't put the coiled sword fragment in there. Jackass. Alright, so, here we go. So the gist of this is, we're going to High Wall of Lothric. That's really the first, uh, the first real area. Uh, the area outside of Firelink, it kinda doesn't count. Cause it's, uh, it's kind of a tutorial, almost. I mean, not even almost. It pretty much is a tutorial. It has things that tell you how to play the game. That's kind of the definition of a tutorial, isn't it? I don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. Alright, so yeah. This game has a decently long amount of load time, but uh, it's not horrible. As long as I keep talking. We're all cool, right? We're all cool. That's not the exit. There we go. This is the actual exit. So I'm just curious how long it's going to take me before I inevitably die. I mean, I mean, this is totally a no-death run of Sky uh, Skyrim. Yep. This is definitely a no-death run of Skyrim. Without a doubt. That statement is 100% true and not, like, 40% false. Actually, I'm pretty sure everything about that statement was false. There are going to be many deaths, and this isn't Skyrim. In case that needed to be pointed out. Take the obvious, fuck, fellows. Fe fellows, follows. Fe Foggers. Fuck this. Okay, whatever. You can die. I don't really like you. You can die. Uh, no particular reason. You seem to be minding your own business, but you can still die. Um, just because we have P, I guess. You know, that's, it's kind of cruel when you think about it. They give you these guys for free XP, where you, you just gotta kill these innocent dudes. They're just sitting here, like, either in pain or maybe praying to these sticks. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. But either way, they're not hurting anybody. Why do we gotta kill them? This dude looks like he's crying over his dead pet dragon. I feel bad for the dude. 
All he wanted was uh, a, dra a dragon that could breathe fire and be his friend. Maybe that dragon was his friend, man. Maybe that dragon was always his friend. And then the last person who freaking came through here murdered the dragon and, and they all just started crying because, oh no, poor dragon friend. You know, now I feel really bad for these guys. I'm glad I put them out of their misery. Poor dragon. Sorry, buddy. I'm just gonna assume you were cool since I've given been given no context to see otherwise. You had a sword, my dear friend. You were going to attack me. Did you not see it? He was wielding a weapon. He was clearly going to attack me. Oh. Well then. I knew that guy was there. I just kind of figured if I rolled through the boxes, he would not hit me. Oh well. That's an item that I'm not going to get. And like I said, man, we're speed running this. We can't take our time to stop and grab every freaking item. Although I will grab this one, because it's just free souls. Hello, buddy. How are you? Hit me. Good shit. Okay. I'm not going to go up there, because there's a dragon. And if I piss it off, it'll kill me. Many times. Many, many times. Ow. Dick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Block that real quick. And that. Okay. Motherfucker. Step, step off my dick. Please. Hey oh hey oh. Nice try. I'm still alive though. Hey oh, you're down. Wooden shield. I will take that, even though I'm not gonna use it, because I already have a better shield and I'm not gonna use the shield later anyway. But basically there's no reason for me to take it. I guess I'll just sell it. I'm gonna steal your items and then sell them. Okay, first things first. This dude will get up if I don't kill him. Oops, oops, oops. Alright, that's fine. This is fine. Everything's okay. This dude, on the other hand, is big freaking pain. Nope, 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 nope. Dodge. God damn it. Wasn't expecting the stab, even though he's done it every time I fought him. Hey yo, you're down. Off to a strong start, guys. Here's some free XP. About to stand up and try and stab me. Deserted corpse. Alright. That's pleasant. That's a pleasant thought. Whoop. Nice try. But no dice. I'll take that free firebomb. Thank you. Even though I'm not going to use it. It said right on up the stairs. Because there's a good old bonfire here. Thank you. Let's go. Now, if you don't know this about Dark Souls, which pretty much everyone does nowadays, uh, once you stay at a bonfire, which I totally didn't because I'm an idiot, I just lit it and then left. Once you sit at a bonfire, everything respawns. I mean, you get all your uh, Estus and your health back and all your focus points and everything, but everything freaking respawns enemies. That is. Oh, crap. He's never aggroed by that. Why was he aggroed this time? Great, now I gotta fight him. Up, 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 up. Alright, you wanna fight me? Fine. Fight me up here where I can actually fucking actually fight. You wanna go? Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's freaking go. I'll take you right here and now. Eat shit. Finish you off. Gotcha. Now that that's done, let me uh, get my Estus and health back, because I wasted quite a bit fighting that dude. Didn't expect that to happen. Didn't expect him to get aggroed. 
I'm gonna wait for him to leave this time. And I'm gonna take this guy on. Hey, nice try. But no dice. Oh, well, I done hurted myself. I mean, I couldn't just fight that dude up top and then come down and fight you guys one at a time. I had to keep this interesting for you guys. I had to keep you in suspense of would I actually survive. Yeah, cock block. Eat shit. Huh. Weird. I did the backstab animation, and I killed him in one hit, but I didn't, like, he didn't do the backstab death animation. Hello, buddy. Hello, friend. You're dead. All right, so next up, I need to take out that motherfucker up there. And you'll see why in a second. Oh no, this is bad. This is a bad thing. This is a bad thing to death. Oh no. All right, well, I guess we gotta go. Not to, not to fight him. Snakey, buddy, snakey. Quit snaking. Quit snaking. Quit snaking. No more snaking. Snaking, no snaking allowed. Snaking is, snaking is against the rules, my friend. Oh, there's finally my first death. You know, if I hadn't missed him with that attack, with that freaking jumping attack, I would have killed him before he did that. Okay, so, uh, the no-death run of Dark Souls is finished. It's, uh, it's over. It's, uh, not happening anymore. Hi, friend. Prepare to die. There we go. Alright. Take it. Take it. That's right. Fuck you, man. You and your frickin' throwing knives. Fuck you and your throwing knives. Alright. Ready? And... Cock block. Pair Uranus. We're coming in dry. Motherfucker. Alright, that was... It was kind of a messed up joke. But whatever. Screw it. Oh no! How? 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 How did he not die? I literally killed him at the prime with a club. How did that not kill him? No snakey. Snakey is against the law. No snakey. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Were it not for the laws of this land, I would snake you where you stand. Oh, goddamn it! Okay, how is that fair? Your freaking snake can go through the building. That's not fair. In the slightest. I'm spinning you off a little bit, huh? Oh, goddammit. Nice! You little prick. Right. How you like that? I'll take that ember, thank you very much. Is that the first ember I've picked up? It is. Well, time to not waste that. All right, I probably shouldn't go far because I'll get my ass handed to me if I try. Hey yo, nice try, buddy. But I'm a bit too smart for you. Although apparently I don't understand the spacing of this thing. Eat shit. There we go. 
Alright, I do not really have enough Estus to fight that dude down there, so I'm gonna go back. Or at least I got a crap ton of souls. I just wanted the souls. Alright, time to go back. Gotta go back. Back to the past. Samurai Jack. Uh, if you're not watching Samurai Jack, what is wrong with you? No, all joking aside, if you're not watching Samurai Jack, it, I recommend it. It's a great show. It's, it's a great show. It's, uh... The original was a good kid's show. Uh, a little bit more violent than most kid's shows, but, you know. I mean, it didn't screw me up too bad, right? Right, guys? I'm, I'm a good person. Right? So... Yeah, and they came back with it, and it's way cooler now. So, I mean, there's that, right? Alright, it's time to go buy some essential items. Some things that I, I need for certain. Some things I definitely require in order to continue this game. Here we go. First, though, I'm going to level up a bit. Welcome. Very well, then talk take no. What do I want to level up? Let's find out. Let's get right into the news. Alright, so what I want to level up is one more into strength, a ton more into dexterity. Alright. That seems like a plan. Let's go. So uh, I'm basically going to do genocide run here. Uh, in other words, I'm going to kill everyone. And by everyone, I just mean uh, characters I don't need. Basically, I'm just going to kill anyone who doesn't, who isn't necessary to continuing the plot, or to getting cool items. So yeah. That's a lot of characters. So basically, I'm going to kill Lo I'm going to kill Yol, because fuck that dude. Because I don't want to be a hollow. I'm going to kill, uh, I'm going to kill, um, everyone, basically, yeah. Nope. Not at all. I won't kill the Firekeeper, I won't kill Andre, I won't kill Handmaid. I won't kill, uh, whatever the dude's name who sits up on the throne. The one Lord of Cinder who's actually cool and does his job. I won't kill him. Although I will kill all the other... Well, technically I will kill him, but that's, that's, that's because he needs to die in order for the plot to continue. I won't just, like, spontaneously kill him, is my point. Cuckluck. Hello, you came up the ladder this time. That's not a thing you usually do. Take it, take it, yes. Right up in your death, okay? Here we go. Alright, so, now let's see if I can do this right this time. Nope. Okay, apparently I cannot take that dude out. Guess I gotta fight this dude every time. Just until I unlock the shortcut, I guess we are fine. Oh, quit snaking, you damn snake. You, you slithery snake. Okay, screw you, first of all. First of all, that was very rude. I'm trying to heal. Second of all, the game just lagged. I'm blaming the lag. God damn it. Alright, well. I mean, that's only my second death. So, to be fair, uh, I'm doing not bad for Dark Souls. By Dark Souls standards. I mean, to be fair, I have said to be fair when too, way too many times. To be fair, um. Dark Souls' tagline for its marketing was, uh, you will die. And its, uh, special edition wasn't called special edition, it was called prepare to die edition. So, to be fair, despite the fact that I've said to be fair way too many times, I have not died way too many times. I have died a reasonably acceptable amount of times, in my opinion. I mean, you can, you can be the judge. Y you do you, buddy. But, uh, personally, I am satisfied 
and just how with the progress I've made with such far so far. So so did he far. E crap. I'm wondering if maybe I do more light attacks, I will be able to get more damage in and maybe kill him. Hey yo! I can. Alright, so I wanna go for light attacks now. So I found with my with my main build, right, which is a a Pyromancer spell sword. Uh, real tough guy. Gr great build. Uh, it's actually really PvP viable. I found with that build, um, I just needed one heavy strike to kill it. Um, with my second build, which was a mage of sorts, uh, a, a, a witch essentially, who uses all different types of magic. With that build, I found I dealt the most damage to it with one heavy attack and then one light attack. With this one, it seems it's going to be... You better not fade out, you little prick. That's right. Take my take my sword. Alright. Um, with this one, it seems I'm going to have to use only light attacks. Light attack is the way to go. I don't believe I've wasted any Estus yet, which is really nice. That means I get to... That means I get to conserve it fighting the fat dude, the fatty, which I will inevitably fight soon, in fact. I'm almost there. Oh, come on. My sword went right through you, you prick. How did that not hit and or stun you? All right, going down. You can die. And you too, honestly. Let me, let me get some of those heals. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, now it's time to take on the fatty. Wherever he is. Ready? You ready for this? Oops. Where is he? Fatty ahead. Yep, here we go. So this dude is one of the more annoying dudes in this area. Honestly, when I played this, I had a lot more difficulty with this dude than I did with the boss of this area. Uh, maybe because the boss of this area is just someone you can cheese by standing under. This dude, on the other hand, is a pain because you can't do that. Human-sized enemies in Dark Souls tend to be the more threatening one. All he's gonna do is magic shit. I'm gonna get far away from that. Because that does a lot of damage, as you can see right there. Uh, maybe I should just, like, barrage him when he does that instead. Ah, you're down. hey -o, first try. So I, I, I understand this is probably not the most entertaining episode of, uh... That's the most entertaining episode of Hyperspeed, since I'm not going that fast. I am not chugging frickin' energy drinks, and I'm not even dying that much. And I'm not raging, because I've actually gotten pretty decent at this game. But, what you will find is that this is much like the first episode of Super Meat Boy, where I wreck for, like, three episodes, and then after that, I spend, like, seven episodes on one level, and start losing and start raging really bad been like seven episodes on one seven episodes on one level so prepare uranus for the rest of that because that's what's going to start happening soon once i get to uh the probably the second boss is where i'll start having difficulty and then um third boss i'll definitely i'll definitely have a little bit of difficulty with uh, I, I, I honestly hate the, uh, Crystal Stage. I know it's supposedly one of the easier bosses, but he's always giving me trouble, just because he's, like... His, his, his ranged attacks that are really powerful is... It's very annoying. That, that is my personal experience with him. As, you, using a build that doesn't have anything that to effectively counter range besides just getting right in his face, uh, the first stage of his boss is pretty easy, because, I mean, all you really have to do is well get right in his face but the second stage gets hard because there's there's a bunch of him and then you don't know which one's the real him 
until it's already too late and he's attacking. And then they can attack you from all directions. And that's that's when getting in his face doesn't really help anymore. So, kind of a pain. I feel like poise would work well against him, because you could probably, if you had enough health, you could probably just absorb his attacks and just kill him before he does anything particularly bad. I don't actually know that for a fact, I'm just, I'm just saying maybe. Maybe that's a strategy you might want to try. But uh, this is not going to be a very poise heavy build. In case you don't know, poise in Dark Souls is kind of like, uh, it's your ability to take a hit without flinching. Uh, not without, it's not like defense where it's your ability to take a hit and survive. That would be like, uh, that would be like resistance. And there, you have different resistances for different types of attacks. But, poise is more like, uh, can you, can you keep fighting? Can you keep, keep hitting at the same time? Uh, Nathan is currently doing a poise build. Um, well, I don't know if he's doing it anymore. He did it for a while. He's been reallocating his stats many times recently. I think he's just screwing around with builds, to be honest. Because he's, he's done a few things that were pretty viable, but then changed it to something else. Originally, he had, like, a decent spell sword build using, uh, the magic, uh, lightning weapon spell and everything. That was his original, um, thing he was running. Oh, and hey, look, we're back at the start. Which is good, because now we have a shortcut to get there quicker. But yeah, he was originally running that. Uh-oh, this is bad. Oh, okay, well, not that bad. Yeah, he was originally running that build. Um, But he... He switched it out at one point for something... I don't remember what he did second, but then he... Then he switched to using, um... He went like poise where, you know, he could take a hit and keep dishing it out as well. And that was that was pretty effective. I saw him wreck some people in uh, PvP using that. Uh, personally, uh, my, my Pyromancer build actually is very PvP viable. Uh, I have proven that many a time. Uh, maybe not in the live streams that I've shown because I, I fucked up a few times in those live streams and made myself an idiot. But, um, definitely in the, uh, in some of my highlight videos, I've, I've shown myself wrecking some people with that build. So it's definitely something I can do. It's definitely doable. And I have a feeling that, um, this being a, uh, mainly a, a dex and uh, heavy damage type of build should um, should be pretty effective in PvP as well. But I guess that remains to be seen. We'll know when we get there, right? And I'm sure we will eventually get there, as I probably will be invaded at some point. Great axe. Here we go. Okay, so I was hoping I'd have more health going into the, uh, going into the boss. Yeah, actually, only three S's flasks is kind of lame. If I had, like, half health and three and four S's flasks, I'd be okay with it, but I only have three. I should not have taken that much damage so early on. Um, you know, you know what it is? It's, it's my talking. Talking always fucks me. Um, it causes me to have a little bit more difficulty in fighting because I'm not as focused. But you know, that's the nature of Let's Plays, and any Let's Player will tell you that. I've, I've heard... I, I didn't really understand it at first until I started actually doing these, uh, this series. Particularly this one here, the uh, 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 Hyper Speed. But fuck you. You attacked me right off the freaking animation. Like, there's nothing I can do about it, you stupid bitch. Alright, I'm going back. Um... But yeah, I didn't I didn't understand it until I started doing hyperspeed. But you you do hear a lot of let's players say how uh, talking and playing the game is more difficult than it looks, and they tend to screw themselves over. And they're always like, oh, I, sw I swear I'm better when I'm when I'm not talking. And at first I was like, ah, yeah, 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 you know, you're just saying that so you don't sound like you're as bad as you are. 
But I mean, you, I believe him. When you when you start to do it, it's like it becomes uh, difficult. I mean, you get used to it eventually, but you you never be as good as you are without talking, you know. And as a result, something always suffers. Uh, something gets the least, the, the less of your attention, the, the lower, the smaller part of your attention. Um, and usually it's talking, and as a result, you get let's players who say really funny shit because they're just like out of their minds, like unfocused. Um, and that, that stuff's funny, you know? You don't always have to make like really clever commentary, sometimes just fucking around is kind of funny. But then you get, uh, if you're, if you're focused more on talking, like I am now, you screw things up, like I did, like I did there. Okay, that, that was my fault. That was not, um... That was not because I was talking, that was just, I, I made a dumb mistake. I freaking let him, I pretty much let him hit me. I used up all my stamina in attacking, and it didn't kill him, so... Nathan appears to be text messaging me right now. I'm guessing... He wants to know why I texted him like 50 times earlier today. Because I did. I was trying to get a little bit of his help uh, with this game. Not to beat the game. I, I can do that fine. Actually, I need him to help me transfer over some items for this Sephiroth uh, cosplay build. Um, so I'm, I'm waiting for him to help me with that. And, uh, he's got a little secret up his sleeve as well, for later. But, I'll, uh, I'll leave that as a secret until he's ready. I'll let him, uh, either him tell you when he's ready, or I will, or you'll see it when it happens. Motherfucker, no! No! God damn it! I'm trying to take on Vord at full health. I mean, I should be able to take him without full health, to be honest. Yeah, maybe I'll just go fight him. Uh, screw it. I don't need to be at full health. Vord's really not that tough. Not having enough freaking stamina or attack damage to finish those guys off in one combo is kind of annoying. I'm not used to it because, like I said, my, my other build is way more effective. I mean, it's also way higher leveled, so there's that. It's always going to be more effective when it's higher leveled, right? Well, maybe not always, because currently my uh, sorceress build that I'm doing, I'm running, it's more of a I'm screwing around kind of thing. I'm not really, like, expecting it to be very effective. That build is higher level than this, technically, and way less effective because it's just not a very good build. And, I mean, the reason why is because I'm going more for, like, I'm trying to do something different. I'm not really trying to do something particularly tough or useful, but rather just something that is cool and isn't normal. It's not something you'd normally see. That's what I'm going for with that one. So, while it isn't very good, I mean, eventually it will be viable, but it's going to take a lot more leveling to get viable. It is not currently viable. It will eventually, however, be viable. So we are going to go for Vort first, I guess. Um, I'm going to take this asshole out first, because he is... This little asshole is going to hide in this corner and freaking shoot me with arrows if I don't. Hi, buddy. Yes, that is right. You screwed it up. You done screwed it. As did I, actually, but I managed to save it. Boom. You're done. You're done, son. You're done, son. I won. Go and run. But you can't, because you're dead. Because you're done, son. Alright, um... I think there might be something hidden over here, maybe? No? Nothing in these corners? Thought there was. Oh, well. Alright, so this, right here, is what you call the boss room. It's called that because it's a room where there's a boss. I know that's kind of obvious, but I figured I'd say it anyway.
I hope you like that intro because you're probably going to be seeing it many times. That's actually not true. This guy, this guy is not too hard. I say is I'm probably going to immediately get my ass kicked and feel like an idiot. After I freaking said DZ and then get my ass kicked by him, that would just be hilarious. But instead, he's getting his ass stabbed. Yeah, that was funny. Do you not understand spacing? You don't even understand your own spacing. You're an AI that doesn't understand spacing. Hello. Yeah. Now that was some spacing, buddy. That's how you space things. If I hadn't died, you would have actually hit me there. For quite a bit of damage, mind you. I actually let my stamina regen. God damn it. Alright, he's doing the thing. He's doing his thing. Up, 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 up. Alright, he's doing his other thing. Let's step back from this one. Can't get hit by this. It'd be very bad if I did. Now that he's done that, I need to move him close. Well, he's doing his thing. Hey, yo. God damn it, he's doing the thing again. He needs to stop doing the thing. I'd have beaten him easily by now if he didn't do the thing. So many goddamn times. not have taken that chance. Oh, uh, my freaking circle button stuck down. Well, all right, there's another sip. There's another sip. Finally, we got some more interesting shit going on. Finally, I actually lost to a boss. That's the first boss I've been killed by, unfortunately, because he's also one of the easiest bosses in the game. You can kind of cheese him like a real asshole if you want. If you're an asshole, which I am. Here we go. Let's go, son. Father, let's go, son. Oh, cute little circle animation, doggy. Sorry, zombie doggy. You gotta die. You gotta die, too. Uh, you, you don't have to die, but I'd prefer if you did. Right, I need to aggro that dog, because if him and the axe guy fighting at the same time, I'm in a bit of trouble. Oh, hello, free straight sword. Wait out the attack. Nope, 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 nope. nope nice try. You're not getting a second attack in today. Not today. That's how you do it. That's how I should have been doing it all along. But unfortunately, I'm a bit of an idiot. So of course I didn't do it right. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's get us some pull lever action. Let's go, son. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Like most people, energy drinks make me burp. I apologize for then the gross sounds that I will make throughout this series. If you have watched the series before, you're probably used to it by now. Bitch! Screw up. Alright, you brought your bitch friend. Oops, okay. So much for uh, being the master of spacing. <laughs> I gave Vort shit for doing terrible spacing, and then I go and do the same thing, basically. In fact, worse, actually. Hello, and goodbye. You can suck my ass, quite frankly. Uh, that dude, I do not want to fight yet, because he's a bit of a pain. This guy, however, I also do not want to fight yet, because I'd rather fight this guy, because he would shoot me in the back if I didn't. Oh, God damn it! really? Really? Of all the things, of all the guys I've dealt with, you are the one who hit me. Are you kidding me? Die, you stupid piece of crap. I could probably hit you with a... Yeah, I was gonna say, I could probably kill you with a hit to the shield at this point. You have so little health. 
And you're dead. All right. Let's do this again. Let's try this again. Let's get right into the vort. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, like any good Dark Souls player, is charge straight for my soul because I do not want to lose those. I had a lot. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but for the level I'm currently at, it's a lot of souls. Hello. You did that weird charge thing much sooner than I was expecting. Buck, 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 buck. What are you doing now? What you doing, buddy? What you doing, buddy? Man dog? Dog man? What's up, dog man? How's it going? Are you the new superhero? Dog man. Doggy man. Doggy man. Does whatever a dog can. Can he? No. All he can really do is lift his balls. I knew he could fetch. He can fetch things. Spacing, buddy. Spacing. Nice try. Because I'm gonna cheat you like an asshole. And he's going into second stage, so I'm gonna hit him with something hard. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Nope, apparently I'm gonna dodge instead. Here we go, here we go. Satellite radio. Oh no, I was I was trying to I was trying to leave that habit back in Super Meat Boy, but uh it appears that he's transferred over to this series, this uh game as well. So if you don't know from watching my Super Meat Boy, I have a tendency to put Black Eyed Peas lyrics, particularly the beginning of um Boo Boo Pow. Whenever I am off the one caffeine. I don't know why it happens. I swear I'm not doing it on purpose to create an inside joke. Although it has become an inside joke. I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just actually what I do. It's just what I do, man. It's just, I'm just doing me. Alright, don't charge, don't charge, don't charge. You charge, okay, that's good. That's a good thing. You don't charge again. Ah, oh, crap. You piece of crap. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Holy crap, you are charging a lot today. I'm gonna step back a bit. My circle button sticks down. That's why you saw me jump back so many times there. God damn it, really? Really, this is how we're gonna do this today? This is how we're gonna do this, huh? Okay, okay, I'm stepping back, I'm stepping back, I'm stepping back, retreat. God damn it, alright, well I'm out of hailing. I'm out of I'm out of hailing. I can't speak apparently. I'm out of hailing! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, he almost got me. Oh, he, he did get me, but it didn't kill me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta finish him off. A couple more well timed butt folks. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. God damn it. So freaking close. I had him so close that time, dude. So freaking close. Alright, here we go. A little more caffeine. A little more intensity. Here we go. Loading screen. Loading screen. Does whatever a loading screen does. Can it go? any faster. No, it can't. Fuck this shit. I'm out. I can't stand loading screens. Alright, here we go. No, 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 nope, no. Nope. Why are you on the stairs? You're not usually on the stairs. I mean, you've been on the stairs before, but... You know, I don't understand why sometimes the dogs are in one place and sometimes they're in another place. They spawn the same. They have the same AI behavior. Why do they... Why are they different every time I come down here? I don't get it. Oh well, doesn't matter. Anyway, free souls. Let's take those. Alright, we'll take some free souls. I'll take free souls for 60. I'm sorry, that's 36. 36 free souls. Hi there, buddy. How would you like to fight? Nope. Bad timing, bad timing, bad timing. Alright, that's better. Seriously? Sliver of health left. You'd think I would know this, considering I've done it, like, six times. Hey, yo, you're down. Alright, now I need to remember this time that this dude I cannot take out in one frickin'... Oh, maybe I can, because I frickin' backstabbed him. I think I can't take him out in one combo, but now I can. Hey, yo, buddy. How's it going? Uh, so for those of you who are here for the Dark Souls, welcome. For those of you who have no idea what Dark Souls is, uh, besides what you've seen so far, um, if the 
gameplay so far hasn't already been a good enough testament to it. Uh, I might as well just tell you, uh, I recommend this game. It's, it's good. It's very good. Although, what I would recommend is start from the third one. If you really like it, and you really like being punished, and you really like the almost sadistic nature of it, then play the other two. Because this game is... This, this ga these games are hard. But this one's actually probably the easiest. I mean, it's... It's definitely not the hardest. That's for sure. I don't know if it's the easiest, but it's not the hardest. Okay, you can... You can sunk my conch. Yes, I added some ends. I added unnecessarily ends. Unnecessary... Unnecessary end. Here we go. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Come on, hit me. There you go. You're done. Uh. Excuse me, moi. Me apologies. No. That's how... That's how French works, right? That's French? Is that French or Italian? I don't know. You know what's good? Italian food. That's something I do know. Something I know for a fact. It's not a matter of opinion. No. Italian food being good, that is a that is a statement of fact. There are no opinions in that matter. Italian food is good. I don't care what you say. If you're entitled to your opinion, but if you do not like Italian food, your opinion is wrong. Alright, so here we go. First step, grab the souls. Now I've got a whole ton. Alright, Fort. All right, doggy man. Let's go. Let's go. You want to fight me? Fine. I'm gonna sit in your nads repeatedly. I'm just gonna charge, charge into you, stand in your balls, and freaking stab your stomach over and over again. You know why? I, I feel like maybe they did that intentionally. Like, you know how dogs like their stomach to be scratched? Well, he's part dog. Maybe if like, maybe that's the whole strategy. You gotta scr scratch his stomach a bit. He appreciates it. Unfortunately, he just shows his love by smashing you with a gigantic freaking hammer. I mean, I'd really appreciate it if you wouldn't, Ford. Oh, hello. You're going second stage. Time to hit you with some hard stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Ha, keck, keck. You cannot hit me. You cannot hit me. I'm the master of dodge. I am the master of dodge rolling. Can't hit me with that either, because I, you just started that attack when I was way far away. Nice try, buddy. Heyo. So much for not being able to hit me. Can't touch this. Da, 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 da. No, no more charging. No more charging. Bad boy. Bad dog. Freaking. Freaking dog. You know, what kind of, what kind of name for dog is this? Who names their dog, bro? It's not a very cute name. I mean, to be fair, it's not a very cute dog. Come at me. Seriously? Did they, did they, like, catch your freaking cheesing glitch, or what? Did they, did they remove the ability to cheese you? Because I beat you so easily on the first try. Oh, you're doing, you're doing a crap thing again. I'm stepping back. I lost a lot of healing, coincidentally. Which sucks. Because I'm, I'm getting close. In the words of the immortal Ego Raptor, I'm like a goddamn gigolo, ready to burst. Oh no! Alright, I'm stepping back. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Charge me. Charge me! No! Okay. That's not when I wanted you to charge me. Okay, so. The rage is slowly building. And it's building at a decent rate. Hi, buddy. How's it going? You can die. Doggos. Hello, doggos. Come at me. Come at me, doggo. Doggo, bro. Oh, crap. That guy stood up. I didn't even notice he stood up. I went around to try to backstab him. And he was already slashing at me, and I, somehow I didn't see it. I'm an idiot. Come at me. What the hell was that? Why'd you run behind me? Dumbass doggo. Dog ass dumbo. 
Nice try. You have to do better than that. Okay, that was slightly better than that. That's a lot better than that. Okay, all right. I apologize for doubting your skill, my good friend. I really should have assumed you could hit me, because apparently you can. Come at me. And die. I'll take spinal columns for 17. I don't know why uh, suddenly I'm doing uh, Jeopardy references. I don't, I don't know why. Welcome to the Jeopardy episode. This is the Jeopardy episode. Prepare yourself. Also, don't know why I'm suddenly turning into Ike. That's Ike, right? Prepare yourself. Yeah, that's Ike. That's definitely Ike. So, one of the builds Nathan's going to do, and it's not the one that, uh, it's not the one he's going to do for this Let's Play, but one of the builds Nathan is going to do is, um, he's going to do a Marth build. He's going to be Marth. So, you know, he's going to use a rapier, and, uh, also he's going to have, like, a circlet around his head, like Marth does. Uh, probably some robes, hopefully some bluish ones, like Marth. So he's gonna do a Marth build. We also discussed a possible Noctis build, you know, Noctis from Final Fantasy, uh, which would be kind of cool. Uh, Nathan kind of came up with the build, and then I likened it to the fact that it looks like Noctis, or that it that it works like Noctis, and that it should be, that you, you should basically make your character look like Noctis. And, uh, perhaps I will do that at some point and show it off just as a joke but not before I finish this series that's for sure I'm gonna finish this series first I need to go kill this bir this this birch this birch tree over here I don't want to deal with him hit me there you go you're an idiot hit me you literally just watched me do this to your friend you are an idiot Sorry, not sorry. Here we go. Traverse the white light, or fog wall, or whatever you call it. Hello, Mort. Good doggy. Nope. Okay. Hey yo. Butt stab. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Oh, was in my second run, I think. I got really freaking close to this guy. That was kind of close. Nice try. Whoa. Nicer try. You almost got me with that one. Ow, okay. God damn it, I really should have healed. I wanted to, but I figured I could use the chance to get in a couple hits. Yeah, it wasn't a smart idea. Keck. Toppest of kecks. Bottomest of texts. Here we go, another sip. I'm gonna take large sips this in this series because uh, obviously I'm not gonna have deaths. I'm going to have plenty of deaths, but not as rapidly as you do in Super Meat Boy. In Super Meat Boy, it's like one mistake and you're screwed. This game, it's like one mistake and maybe you're screwed. Or maybe maybe you can survive two mistakes. Who knows? Oh, well, Keck, I saw that. I saw that coming. You almost got me there. Almost surprised me there. Keck! I just backhanded that doggo. I feel kind of bad for it, to be honest. Come at me. Come at me, you kekster. Whoa, that was a quick attack you did there. Pikachu, use quick attack. Gotcha. Who's next? Just kidding, I already know who's next. It's this, it's this dude. This dude's next. Come at me. Nice try. Coppest of Kex. He's done. 
just die. All right, E Z, E freaking Z. I say as I die to Vort like 80 times, even though he's the easiest freaking boss. I just gotta get right up in his business, right up in his biznitch, bits bitsniz. I gotta get it right up in his face anyway. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, I almost forgot there's a dude here. Hey yo, that was easy. Let's continue on. So you may notice that, uh, in terms of armor, my character does not look like uh, Sephiroth at all. He's got the face look. I've got that down. But I'm gonna need some nice armor, and uh, that's what that's what Nathan's gonna help me do later on today. Cause uh, cause I'm not. While I am doing this mostly without help, and I say mostly because I will use help in certain. Oh my God, I'm in a bad way. Ah, bop, bop. That's a bad. That is a bad. A bad is happening. Okay, okay. Uh, I need to cut my losses. I'm headed out. I'm I'm gonna leave. I I'm sorry. I usually would fight these guys. I don't like running past people. I don't like how Dark Souls makes you angry to the point of you run past people and freaking just ignore enemies. I don't usually do that, but I really needed these souls. There's a lot of souls here, and I was not dealing with that guy because I'm not risking dying to him. I'll fight him later, trust me. I will eventually have to. Well, technically I won't have to. I could run past him again, but I won't. Once the stakes are a little bit lower, once the stakes are reasonably lower, I will run right past them. But right now, I really need to fight this dude. Kek. And you are... And you've been kecked. Alright. You are... You've been unkecked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I apologize. God damn it, Bork. God damn it, Bork. I swear I'm getting worse at this. It's like... It's like I get worse every time. It's almost like being hopped up on caffeine while playing a game where patience is important isn't a very good thing. <laughs> I mean, who would have known? Yeah, I'm my patience is running thin. This is uh this is your first episode, folks. I I hope you I hope you appreciate this. This is your first episode. I did say not enough had happened yet, and guess what? Now a bunch of stuff is happening, so I hope you appreciate it. So much for not much happening. You're done. Hello, son. I'm home. Eat crap. Yeah, I've gotten into a groove now. I'm in the groove. Nice try. I saw you raise that axe. But I got a sword, and swords are faster. Skyrim logic. Skyrim has taught me well. Swords are faster than axes. It's generally how this works. Pulling this lever every time is a bit of a pain, but I mean, I guess it's worth it. It's worth it for the shortcut, I suppose. It's way better than having to walk through uh, Fatty and the frickin' mutant thing every time. That would be such a pain if I had to do that. I don't think I'd ever beat Vort. I think I would be completely and utterly screwed if I had to do that every time. Hey, crap! Crap. I think that's my new catchphrase uh, for this series. With Meat Boy, it was uh, "Here we go, here we go, satellite radio." Now it's uh, now it's just eat crap. It's really, really simple and very lame catchphrase, but hey, it does me good. Milk does the body good. Yeah, I'm not gonna aggro you today. I do not feel like fighting you. 
Yeah, you're you're gonna stay unaggroed. Don't worry, I will eventually fight those assholes. Just not today. It's not the time. Oh, I really thought they'd be a backstab. It doesn't matter, I still killed them, but I was really hoping it would. Stab, man. Stab. Stab. Stab your spear. Alright, fine. So that's how you want it. Really? Really you're gonna heal? You really think that's gonna do you any good? It's clearly just gonna make it take one extra stab to kill you. Here we go! Fork! You, you, you gotta, you gotta stop killing me, Fork! Stop it. Stop it right in your face. That roll was timed badly, but luckily I was already out of his, uh, his range. So. Hey, oh, dodge. Nice try. Hey, oh, dodge. Oh, goddammit, seriously? I was like a fraction of a second late. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Charging away from me there. Okay, that was a bad time to heal. That was a very bad time to heal. I recognize that now. I realize it's a bit late, but that was a very, very, very late time to heal. Gotcha. I'm at me. Oh, seriously? That still affected me? You gotta be kidding. Ah, oh, goddammit. Gigantic body as it slams against the ground isn't exactly good for your health. Who would have felt, right? Am I alive? Am I still alive? I'm alive. I'm still alive. Kind of. Okay. Okay, I'm closer to not alive now. I also have very little, uh, uh well, okay. Well, my freaking recording died in the middle of that, so, great. Alright, so I'm gonna take a sip. And meanwhile, I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Stay interesting.